Yo, what's going on, guys? Me back here again with another video. Keep it on the trend of once a day or trying to. Today, we got the Final at Freddy's 4 Nightmare Chica from Wave 2. I don't have the box again. I, I don't think I have any boxes from Wave 2, so it's kind of a rip. But at least at least the figures are still here. <laughs> so, the this figure does not come with any accessories, which is terrible because... None of them in this wave really did, so I'm just gonna say that now. But the articulation and paint, or the paint and sculpt in this figure are great. They, this is the only figure they really put the withering on. They made, or most of the black is all, all painted in, and it's got, or most of it. Some of it's not that good. Well, most of it's not that good. I changed my mind about that one. I never really got this close-up look. Look, there's a big yellow spot right there. The figure, this is probably the best one of the wave because the builder figure is trash. That, that, that's a bad figure. No, you can't even stand it up. But this one, this is a good figure. So the paint, I the only paint I really have to do for this one is just fill in the black because other than that, it's nicely shaded, nicely all dirtied up. And they made it all look real good. And that's why, this is what I based painting my Freddy off of was was this to make it match like that for the articulation here the head barely moves barely any pivot so can't even go all the way oh no it can but it gets stuck don't want to mess up the paint the arms go out not 90 they rotate they barely bend the hand barely wrote or the hand rotates but it's really tight the waist rotates it's really loose the legs don't move up that much. The knees bend pretty good, but they're loose. Then there's nothing at the feet. And I think this figure actually broke, which sucks. You might be wondering now, its articulation is bad. How is it the best figure? Well, most of these figures' articulation is bad. And the most it's just mostly for looks with these because you're not going to really be getting these in any dynamic poses. Or nothing like that because they're not meant to be in that pose. <laughs> so for articulation or for scale here, uh, what did I just put the ruler? Oh no, the ruler's gone. Well, we'll just we'll just do some comparisons then. There's only one other Chica figure, and it's this one, or one other. There is another, but it's from this wave too. And I'm just gonna wait to do the review of it. So it's, there's normal Chica and Nightmare Chica chilling next to each other. It's this figure has the same problem as every other one where I expect it to be bigger, but it's like the same size, so I don't really like it. But on its own it looks good, but it doesn't really fit with the rest. And now I'm going to compare it to the rest of the wave, which I've reviewed. Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Freddy with each other they look really good especially freddy and chica because they both have the same kind of dirtiness but bonnie looks clean as a whistle which doesn't fit i don't like that that's why i paint that's why i customize that's why i'm on the grind on that major grind we need out of the way just a few more comparisons we've got classic freddy he's come back from the dead and figure eye standard super saiyan 4 goku just for something different, you know, out of the line, you need to compare it to some other stuff. So there's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You can really see the difference in size and scale for these two. The FNAF line, I think, is 5 inch, while the figure rise is 7, I think. So it's really just a big jump in scale. Move these out of the way. So this is probably the best figure of the line, and I do believe that it is one you should get. And this is this one doesn't really need much paint and stuff, so it, it's like a figure you can just buy right out of box display, no need to paint. Which you don't really need to paint any of these, they're all pretty decent out of box, but I like to paint them. I like to make things how I like it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's it, there's nothing else really for this figure. There's no accessories, 
no other real comparisons. It's a regular sized. This figure is pretty good. The articulation is bad, but the figure itself is good, like the paint sculpt. So I do recommend it. I think it's, I don't remember where I put it on the list, but it was pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I put all the updates and stuff. And I'll see you in the next one when uh, uh, Thanos, Thanos hits me with his butter knife. Yeah.